Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome back to the Lewis Basketball Network. It is your boy Lewis, and I am back with another one. Uh, make sure you subscribe for new subscribers, and uh, make sure you like this video, man, and share this video. Only helps the channel grow. Truly appreciate it. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Thursday afternoon. It is about to be spring break uh, for those who are, um, you know, working and stuff like that. Um, you know, just got to say, man, just appreciate you guys for always taking the time to watch my videos. So let's get right into it. So I know I haven't really talked about this, and I know as the the very sick, disease, the la diseased 3-6 Mafia, uh, as Chris Broussard, Broussard has said that he is going to talk about LeBron, that the 3-6 Mafia and the brainwashed casuals, they need to listen to LeBron. We need to talk about LeBron because LeBron is important. We need to talk about him even if he's in the playoff. If he's not in the playoffs, like we need to talk about him because he needs to be the center of the topic. Okay, it's ridiculous that we don't that we need to we can't have LeBron in the playoffs. That we need him in the playoffs. So I haven't covered this because I really haven't really want to pay attention to it because this is not a LeBron channel. I mean, I've talked about LeBron James, but people some people have said, oh. This is a LeBron hating channel. If this was a LeBron hating channel, then why have I talked about other players or other topics? Like, it's really stupid to make a comment when you really haven't done your research and watch what I've put. So, without further ado, Michael Rappaport joins FS1 Undisputed with Skip and Shannon, and you're going to hear my thoughts on who should be the next head coach for the Los Angeles Lakers. And we people have said it should be Ty Lue, correct? But... Let's be real. We all know why Ty Lue is supposedly wants to be the next coach. But once again, I already know, and I'm pretty sure most of you guys know, especially my subs. But we're going to get into it, and we're going to have fun with this. So, you know, they're going to talk about it, and I'm pretty much going to get my thoughts on it. So, ladies and gentlemen, grab some snacks and enjoy. Enjoy. Hmm. I see Michael Rappaport already started with that Allen Iverson. Practice? We talking about practice? No, no, not a game, not a game. We talking about practice, man. Not a game, not a game. We talking about practice. So my man Rappaport already going with the whole Iverson reference. All right. I see I see you, Michael. It's the playoffs and we're talking about the Lakers, <laughs> not the Knicks. No, 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 no. It's Ooh, I ain't going to lie. That was a nice little shot back <laughs> Yo, I got to give him props for that one. That was good, Shannon. That was good. Playoffs, and here we are talking about the Lakers. The Lakers? The Lakers? It, it, it's, it's playoff time. Guys are in Aruba. It just, yeah, guys are pretty much on vacation. Guys are on social media. You know, the same the same teammates that LeBron said who shouldn't be on social media, but he's the king of it. But it's like, listen, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, yeah, I need to talk about the 29 other teams. Listen, people need to realize this. No matter how much you complain about what they should be talking about, these networks, all they're going to talk about is LeBron. LeBron is the individual cash cow in the NBA. The Warriors are the team cash cow of the NBA. That's what the next. That's what these networks do. That's what boosts their ratings. I just wonder if the Warriors happen to split up, if they happen to end up their dynasty, or LeBron retires, how in the blue, how in the world are they going to get their paychecks? I'm just wondering. I'm just, you're going to have to find some other job because. LeBron and the Warriors have been making your living for, for for you for you analysts, supposed basketball analysts. Um, it's a mess, but let, let, listen, let, let, let's 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 cut the shenanigans right now. We all know that Ty Lue has no other opportunities. No one's checking for Ty Lue. We all know how this is going to play itself out. You see, they're not mentioning Mark Jackson. Ladies and gentlemen, I said a couple of videos ago that Mark Jackson has been slimed with Clutch Sports in 2014. I don't know if you guys knew that. And I said LeBron is even getting head coaches into into his brand, into Clutch Sports, the L -M the LRMR, which basically tells you that if things don't go right, his camp is always going to be involved along with his agent. That's why I call him the Le Collusion at the highest levels. And LeBron is the Le Captain of that ship. To where if they don't like the coach that he plays for or he doesn't like to respect. And notice LeBron just has a tendency. He does not really like white color coaches. Now he said, well, Ty Lue. Well, but Ty Lue, Ty Lue's black. It's just he's light skinned. All right. But my thing is, is that 
LeBron is going to cater to people who, like I said, he associates with. And Ty Lue, he's one of his good friends. He wants Ty Lue so that he can run his LeBron system, so that he doesn't have to be told what to do. LeBron is the has the highest basketball IQ. And I'm going to tell you again, if LeBron has such a, the highest basketball IQ in NBA history, as Skip at times likes to point out, why does LeBron keep running into the same problems? Answer me that question. So now that I've asked the question, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. But we already know that with Ty Lue, it's going to get, he's going to be, again, promoted to the assistant coach Lou because LeBron is the head coach. He's, he's the coach. I mean, if you guys remember in 2017, I think when the uh, Warriors lost by 19, I mean, not the Warriors, sorry, the Cavaliers lost by 19 in the finals. And one of the reporters asked LeBron about, you know, how, what adjustments do you guys need to make in order to get back in the series? LeBron responded, oh, I'm not really too sure, man. That's, that's on Coach Lou. I mean, he's the coach. All of a sudden, LeBron, Ty, Ty Lue is the coach. I mean, this is your system, so you should be able to be given the X's and O's to your team on what you expect in your system. And then after every after these losses, now it's it's on the coach. Ty Lue's not a coach. He's an assistant. Okay. The, the, they're throwing Monty Williams in there because he's a class act. He's a veteran around the league. Yeah. But we all know how this is I'm surprised nobody's even looking at Jawan Howard. I think he would be a good candidate. I mean, he's had a lot of seasoning as a, um, a as an assistant coach under. Um, I think he's still with the Miami Heat. Um, if I'm wrong about that, one of you guys can correct me. Um, but I think Jawan is still with Eric Spolstra and that Heat coaching staff. But yo, he's been a head co uh, assistant coach for a while, and I think he deserves an opportunity to be a head coach. Um, I wouldn't mind. But then again, you ask yourself, why would anybody want to coach that mess? But Jawan knows LeBron. Um, I think LeBron should give it a shot. And once again, it's a matter of can can you get a coach that is going to tell LeBron what you're doing is not working. You need to change your game. I've said it about Russell Westbrook and I said it about Ben Simmons, even though, again, Ben Simmons has more upside because he's in his second year. But it's like it's more so for Russell because he's in his 10th year. But LeBron, it's like it's the same thing with LeBron. They have, somebody has to tell them, no, we're not doing this your way. Like, you need to try this, this, this to see if this is works. Because you've been trying the same thing. It has led to nothing. It has not led to victories. Oh, but it's led LeBron to three championships. But it's also led LeBron to six finals losses. Keep it objective. The play out, it's going to be Tyloo and Jeannie Buss. Stop treating this like this is some sort of family business. It's not a donut shop. And that's Jeannie Buss's problem, man. She makes decisions with emotion rather than thinking rationale, thinking rationality. Thinking rationale, sorry. So she's really not thinking. She's just using, basically, she's making decisions on emotion, and this is why she has the mess that she does, which is why I said when I look at the Laker fiasco, we can't just blame LeBron. Uh, Magic made those moves, uh, trading Zubak for Mike Muscala. That was just a dumbass trade, as I've said before. They chose, I don't know who decided to draft Lonzo Ball. I'm not trying to disrespect the brother, but the Lakers have had opportunities to, like, improve their team. They've had opportunities. It's just the decision-making that's done in that front office. And then with Jeannie, everything is out of friends and family. It's like you got to think business and what's going to help you win. But it's like she's not putting that aside. Using her emotions for the wrong reasons. And look what kind of franchise she has right now. It's a dumpster fire that no player is – everybody's looking – and like, mm, I don't know about that. So Jeannie, Magic, and LeBron take the cake for this one. In downtown LA that's yeah. been in Los Angeles since 1963. Like stay here, huh? Like, yeah, this is it. <laughs> just, just turn over the keys to LeBron James and, and, and let the chips fall where they may. Because we, we, we know what he wants. We know what he does. You know, and, and, and Chris Broussard, who, who, who we know. sources into the mainstream, I have sources that have told uh -huh. me that LeBron James is looking to possibly... I find that, listen, man, Michael Rappaport B speak, is the one guy that I could say that could put Shannon in his place. But I got to even admit with this, what sources... It's, it's so crazy. Like, all of these guys all of a sudden got sources, man. <laughs> Y'all notice a lot of LeBron's ex-teammates and his friends just come on TV to, to try to defend LeBron at all costs when he knows he's a big reason why the Lakers had a downfall this year. I'm going to say it again. Don't come at me with fourth place. Don't come at me with the LaGroin injury. I will murk those in faster than a blink of an eye, faster than a speeding bullet. I'm telling you right now at this moment. Coach the team if they don't hire Ty Lue. But in my opinion, let's just, 
Look, you made I, that up. I, no, I got sources. <laughs> I got sources. Hey, the, the, the thing is, is just, just bring him in. Just bring him in. Don't even hire a president of basketball operations. Don't replace Magic Johnson. Just let him do his thing. Maybe have Maverick Carter there. Just to, like give him a, like a, a dollar. Yeah, I heard that earlier. earlier. And then because this is I, what I it's going to be. And and my, and 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 no one's telling Ty Lu you should. I've been hearing that, that people think that the Lakers should give full reign and control to LeBron James. Let me know if you guys think that's a good idea. Let me know in the comments. Uh, coach the Lakers. We all know how this is going to play itself out. My friend. She Buffer. Just give it a minute. Okay, it's taking a while. Hmm, this is this is interesting. <sighs> taking such a long time. I think the internet could be bad. Yeah, let me see. I'm gonna go back to this really one second, guys. One second. I know this is how it usually doesn't work. Let me see if this way back. Let's try this again. Shannon Sharp. There we go. What a disaster. What a mess it has turned into. What a shame. You know what? I Magic agree. Johnson, he had my guy, Magic Johnson, crying. Last year, no, Shaney. Shaney Buzz had him crying. That's your guy. That's Vegeta. What does the scouter say on Shannon's denial? It's over nine thousand. What nine thousand? No way. I think it does say right, right? Your guy, Genie. Genie told him, "No, you can't fire Luke. No, you can't fire Rob Palinka. And you need to start showing up to work." That's what had him cry. Your guy had my Whoa, wait, a man, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You make it seem like the Lakers won the demolition derby before we got here. We tried to clean this up. You're so what did you get a? Did, did you go to the? Did you go to the store? Did you go to Target? Did you go to Rite Aid? Did you go to the ninety nine cent store? Get yourself a long, a long stick of Swiffer and try to clean this mess up. We need to get a. We need to get a dustpan and another. Um, you know, get ourselves a dustpan, get ourselves a little broom, and we need to sweep your ass out of this damn show with the stupid comments you always keep making defending your LaCrony, your La, La Boo, as in LeBron, Shannon. I did it to him, Shannon. That was your guy. Listen, man, I said it once again. Genie, Magic, and LeBron deserve the blame. LeBron deserves a big blame in terms of what happened on the court and his inconsistent LaGroin reports. Don't come at me with this whole injury thing. I told you. With those inconsistent reports, and they're all over the internet because it goes viral. And you guys know social media, especially LeBron, better than anybody, of what happened. So, so whatever excuse that you want to try to spin and you want to try to make, it's not going to look good on your part. When goats cry. Hold on. The previous five years before LeBron, when LeBron was going to the finals, the previous five years, can you tell the people at home where the Lakers were? Hang on to those. The monopolized Eastern Conference that LeBron always had the easy, easy road to the finals. And let me say this right now, to be clear. This whole LeBron's competition that he's gone up against, seven of his nine finals were against the San Antonio Spurs and against the Golden State Warriors. Two teams. From 2013 to 2018, LeBron James faced the same team six consecutive seasons. So I keep asking you, what competition is LeBron really facing if he's faced two teams in six straight years. And then if you want to add 2007, that makes it seven out of nine finals. It's so crazy. LeBron has only faced four different teams and he's one in three against those teams. Two of them he met a combined seven times. And from 2013 to 2018, he met them six consecutive seasons. Oh, but LeBron had to go against three, four future Hall of Famers. This is why I continue to say that, that this whole insurmountable, insurmountable competition that LeBron is facing, 
Go check out my video on the 2016 NBA Finals. Is Kevin Durant put them over the top, but there's a reason for that. All of those circumstances that I talked about, go check out the 2016 Finals. And that's why Kevin Durant is with the Golden State Warriors. Previous five years, hang on to those memories because it's so over. It's done. You know, that's another thing too, man. We know that the Lakers were a mess before LeBron came there, but he put it to a whole new level after he promised that they would be a playoff team. After people were saying that the Lakers were going to be a Western Conference final opponent to go up against the Golden State Warriors. The standards lowered each and every single part of the season every time something happened. And then when a win or loss would happen, their narratives would constantly flip. That's what the media does, and that's why they keep the casuals brainwashed. I see through the BS. And the intelligence and my intelligence subscribers and people who are objective about basketball out there who knows the game and studies the game, they know that it's complete BS too. No, it's done I'm, but I'm saying you're trying to make it seem like No, no, Shannon, I'm sorry. I refuse to be brainwashed by your damn words. You're funny as hell, but I'm sorry. You make no goddamn sense when it comes to the game of basketball. Thank you, sir. LeBron has been here, and all of this is LeBron's fault. No, but he took it. All of this isn't LeBron's fault, but a big part of it is LeBron's fault. Let's make that clear. Another level. They ain't know another level. Oh. Rappaport is exactly right. He did bring it to another level because what happened was Luke was developing those young kids. Uh, listen, man, say what you want about Luke. He's not a great coach. The rotations are whatnot. <laughs> The young players were developing nicely. The year before that LeBron came, they won 35 games. But Lonzo and Ingram missed a combined 55 games. They'd possibly be fighting for a playoff spot or be in the playoffs, maybe a 7th or 8th spot in the West, as the season would have went along. The expectations changed as soon as LeBron went to the Lakers. And LeBron already had set sights on L.A. in 2017 after they lost to the Golden State Warriors in five. He just used the 2018 season as a one-way ticket because he was going to say, well, I didn't want to just make it seem like if I said I wanted to leave. Because remember, LeBron came off a two-year deal and signed one-year deals after in 2017 and in 2018. So he signed a two-year deal first and then one and one. Because again, LeBron, this is called the plotting and the scheming at the highest levels. That's what this exactly means. Shout out to He Knows His Sport for those references, by the way. Job of the most storied franchise in the NBA, one of the biggest franchises in all sports. We have the, the Knicks, I mean, we have the, the Yankees, the Dallas Cowboys, and the Lakers. These are the biggest. And, and who would thought, like, don't touch this, right? To quote the great MC Hammer, can't touch this. You can't touch it because you still got number 23. Mm-hmm. And as long as you That's got him, problem, poor man's 23. He's the problem. He's the problem. Not the problem. He's the problem. I bet the Knicks are taking right now. Not the main problem, but arguably the biggest problem. You're right, Shannon. LeBron is a problem. He's part. He's one of, arguably the biggest reason why the Lakers are in the, even a worse dumps, dumpster fire than they were the five years prior. All this little nonsense that he kept, that he brought to the Lakers, man. He should have left that shit in the in the witness land in Cleveland, but no. He had to bring his baggage because he likes being uncomfortable. LeBron loves the La Circus. That's what he does. Fisdale could control him. Fisdale could control him. At a discount, we take him for a discount. Oh, what a mess it's been. What a mess it's turned into. What a sad state of affairs in Los Angeles. Enjoy. It's, it's, it's April. It's the playoffs. Are we talking about the Lakers? Once again, my man went back to Allen Iverson, man. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Not a game, not a game. We're talking about practice, man. We got 16 other teams in the playoffs. Are we talking about the Lakers, man? It's the playoffs, and we talking about the Lakers? The Lakers? Psst, what? Talking about the Lakers? Yo, what are you talking about, man? Yo, I'm out of here, man. That nigga's tripping. Enjoy. The Los Angeles Lakers? Next year this time, we'll see. Oh, man. I thought they were going to be in the playoffs. Me too. It's going to be, it's going to, unfortunately, I don't wish this on any player. It's just going to get worse, Shannon. Bet it does. It's going to get worse. No one's coming here in the offseason. I'm with Michael on this. The obvious fix for this. I already know what the uh, what the, the LeBron super fans are saying. Oh my God! Look, two LeBron haters to one LeBron sexual man. Look, it's not fair. We need to even the odds. That's the obvious fit for this is Ty Lue. But would you wish this upon that poor man? Yes, yeah. seriously. Oh, this is all he could do though. Wish, but remember, 
You know, a lot of times when Skip and Michael talk, they always a lot of times love to talk. Skip has a tendency to, you know, talk. he gets like very critical on the littlest of things. Skip is, is Skip is known for that when it comes to LeBron. Like LeBron could have a good game, and Skip was like, well, you know, but you missed ten, but you missed three free throws. You know, things like that. But even when they're objective and stuff like that, like I said, it makes these guys go sick. It makes the Lacronis go sick because the mafia, they just can't hear this. How dare you speak about LeBron? I can't sleep at night because you talk bad about him. Like if LeBron is actually doing something for you in your life. It nearly put him in an early grave in Cleveland when they were riding the highest. They're on their, their finals bound and he just, he just nearly crumbled and cratered. He had to take weeks off. He took a sabbatical. Y'all remember that when he took that little two-week sabbatical complaining about the little back and the little ankle injury that he had when he really couldn't even jump out the gym when he lost all that weight in the offseason? And uh, there was, a, oh, LeBron, it was for LeBron to get quickness, but LeBron even looked even slower when he actually shut off all that weight. Went to get his vibranium, allegedly. He was, and that's his guy. That's his guy. Man, he's coaching JR. That's his guy, and he drove him nuts. Look at that. All of a sudden, he's coaching JR. Shannon, I'm checking I'm checking on the scouters. Shannon's denial power level, 18, 19. It's over 21,000. Man, Shannon. How soon we forget? You know what? Both of you guys, I know what you're trying to do. Yeah, what they're trying to do is remind you how much of a revisionist you are when it comes to um, LeBron. Right here. I'm not trying you're trying to, to sow dissension. You're trying to make it, oh, he's going to have to make peace with those young guys that he wanted to ship out. Mm. You keep saying, oh, Genie Buzz, you need to make a decision, and maybe LeBron James needs to go. I see what you two guys are doing. So, the good thing that she's a very smart businesswoman. So who did Genie Buzz put in charge of her coaching search? The most distrusted and disliked GM in all of basketball, right. Rob Polinka, Kobe's guy. Kobe versus LeBron. Wait, so LeBron has to be thinking, Kobe's ex-agent is now running my franchise? Mm -hmm. Is it LeBron's franchise or is it... Could you imagine if instead of Rob Palenka, it was Kobe Bryant being the GM? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Kobe telling LeBron what to do? Oh, my goodness. LeBron would be saying, look, Jeannie, I'm better than Kobe. You can't have a guy who's not in the gold conversation talk about talk about what I need to do, okay? I'm better than him. I have three MVPs, three finals. I need to get out of here. He don't know nothing about basketball. He'll, he'll ruin this dumpster fire even worse than when he played. So, Jeannie, you need to trade my ass right now. I, I demand a trade. The Blinkers franchise. And they still haven't hired a president. I no. think they're supposed to. I don't know. So, the man who's going to hire the coach... Is not going to be the ultimate boss of that coach because he's undetermined yet. He Same hasn't been hired again. yet. Okay, way to go. That's you like that? Do, do you like that, Shannon? I the like man it. just asked you if you like it. I like the fact that LeBron James is going into year 17. He's going to have an extra 10 weeks to rest and recover, mm. and he's going to come back in better shape, and he'll be a new and improved going to Wakanda. We might be on our way to Wakanda as really? we speak. <laughs> uh, Wakanda forever. Uh. Yes. Rabbit pole, what kind of laugh was that, bro? Vibranium forever, right? Mm. Hmm. I guarantee you. Go to Bio clinic, allegedly. Will he Instagram that? No. No, I don't no. think he will Instagram no. that. Go to Probably not. Oh, no. But anyway, as I'm saying, Nick. Go to Germany. Mm, was that a shot at Kobe? Here, when we're in the playoffs, yeah. I want you to have. You mean you should get pom coms because Shannon is arguably LeBron's biggest cheerleader. Because we'll be in the playoffs and your Knicks won't. Oh, again. yeah, for the 15th year. No, I don't, I, I'm not going to talk about dissension. Talk about dissension. Don't worry about my Knicks. Don't worry about my Knicks. Yeah, worry about the fact that Shannon Sharp, that we have to discuss these guys. They're not relevant. There's so many young LeBron stars. LeBron James always going to be relevant. Oh, they're not relevant right now. There's yes, so many young stars yes, that are emerging. So many great. Look at that. Shannon is twitching every time he says, oh, LeBron is relevant. Yes, he is. You see? Yo, his homoerotic infatuation is sick. This new team need to take, come off them LeBron pills, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Well, Switch to the decaf. As a dress rehearsal for life. 
Without LeBron. Mm. I mean, and how the Raiders? How the Raiders do it? How the Raiders? The ratings for your damn show, Shannon. Look at, look at, look at you. Look at you. Yeah, that's right. LeBron makes you ready. I'm going to say it again. What are y'all going to do when this man retires? What are y'all going to talk about? How look? Oh, I bet the new topic is going to be how is LeBron doing post retirement to Kobe Bryant? Playoff Raiders doing without LeBron. Dissension player hater. Dissension and a player hater, Shannon Sharp. How are the ratings doing without LeBron James? I don't fact check. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. We'll do that. I could tell you they'd be so much better. Trust me, so much better. I mean, I would love for these teams to get shine, but these networks, again, these guys, LeBron owns these networks, so they want to make sure that they talk about him. That's why I said that as great of a player as LeBron is, is he really that great that he has to be talked about every single day on these networks? That's what I'm saying. Is the drama king. It don't matter. There's always drama. I give you and, that. And what, and, what, and what does drama create? Writing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so we have to just, we have to just, yes, yeah, so that's why Jenny was, Jeannie, Turn over the keys to the castle. Let the mess three years. You just got to deal with it for three years. Uh, hopefully his body will keep up with it. First hopefully he won't have to retire early. Mm. I don't wish that on mm. him. Listen, we always had the key. We gave Jeannie a duplicate. So there are two keys to the king. <laughs> Can you believe that this guy has taken over the franchise like a dark cloud over The front office, man, I tell you, man, it's crazy. They've allowed this to happen. And Adam Silver, it's okay for them to sign players to a, to a brand so that they could collude with other players to signing into to sign into LeBron's camp, into whatever franchise he plays with. I've never heard of a superstar being able to have that much power. And I think it's very, very toxic at the at the at the say the least. Very, very, very intoxicating. For the worst, not for the better. We got one. Mm. I think you got both of them. We got a piece of cake. Huh. We let Jeannie get up. So, I, I have to reread an anonymous... Shannon, book. keep that same energy and say that to Jeannie's face, and I wonder what she'll tell you, because you would have you'd probably be staying mad quiet, too. I love how these guys love their energy on their own show. See, just like how LeBron came on his own show and said that, right? That right there may be the greatest of all time. Shannon could say that on the, on the show, but trust me, he ain't going to say that to any one of their faces. Scaredy cat. Especially with somebody with big, as big as arms as Shannon. I'm a scout in the athletic a couple of weeks back. The worst thing in this league is to have an aged superstar who doesn't know it. And, the worst, know it. and ah. the worst thing in this league ah. is to have an anonymous source well. that had won nothing as an executive uh. thinking he can speak on a superstar personified. You mean aged superstar? Is he yeah. still great? Uh. He's pretty good. He's not great. Not top five. You won't bet nothing. So, will you, oh, you want some do? Yeah, you want some do. He is top. Skip, hold on, Skip. Be honest. All, all, all objectivity. LeBron James is not a top five player. Okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you, you top five. Of your, you know, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. But he is. But I said it. LeBron is still one of the best players in the game. He's just not the best anymore. That's people are saying LeBron's the best. That's a bunch of bunch of that's a bunch of bull crap. Impossible to coach yeah. because he coaches himself. Yep. Uncoachable. This whole organization just reeks of dysfunction from the top down. Agreed. It just seems to be going nowhere slowly. It, it doesn't have a plan. Nope. And how many cases of dude you want to bet that they will land an A-list superstar this summer? A is AD A-list? Well, they're not yeah. getting hit unless they, uh, they're not trade for him. They tried well, that already. Keep, nobody wants to coach. Nobody, uh, LeBron doesn't want to get. Let me ask you a question. Who invests Warren Buffett's money? He invests his own money. And when you LeBron James, you can coach yourself when you get to that level. So then why are you asking for Ty Lue if you know he can coach yourself? See how once again Shannon makes himself look like a clown on TV? Okay. Mm. Well, he, he thinks by yelling across the room and thinks by yelling on the television network when you raise the volume that he's actually making sense and knows what he's talking about and is absolutely right. You're absolutely right, Shannon. You're completely wrong. Be a top five player next year. I doubt it. Seriously? You're 17. I don't care if it's your 18. Put some do on that. Unfortunately, I feel like the injuries, and I, again, I don't wish this on any player, Tom Brady, LeBron James, anybody. I feel like it's just going to be, there's going to be more injuries to come. Mm. It's just it's just mother nature. It ain't mother nature. I don't wish injuries on LeBron either, but I could tell that after having this groin injury, and I think LeBron's going to be on the decline. And I think that's why LeBron's even more desperate now to have a superstar, you know, play with him. It's really not just more for the Lakers. It's, again, these LeBron wants these players 
to enhance his legacy, for him to be the reason why he carried these guys to a championship. All these guys want to beat him and they want to carve their own legacy. They don't want to be tied to LeBron because that's what it's always going to be. Yeah, he was good, but he needed LeBron to win. That's always what's going to be the narrative. So that's why LeBron is looking really bad right now. Father God, Mother Nature is... Yeah, it's we'll Germany? It's, I mean, it's Germany? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I don't like what you're trying to lose. No, is, is it Germany? Or? No. Because I, I, I said Mother Nature. You said it's, a, it's, a, it's not Germany. Mm. We, don't, we don't do that. Okay. Mm. God give it. Okay. God gifted us. You brought okay. up vibranium. I did. I mean, neither. Why can't the film? Mm. Okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> that's not God given. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. It's from the earth. Okay. It is. It's from the earth. <laughs> Man, a clown, you, know, you, know, you know what? I, I've never seen. I, you know, and I thought he was the biggest LeBron James hater, but he needs to step aside. I, I a, probably no. not a problem. It's, not a problem. He's a. Hey, listen. When, when people come on this show and they bang on Tom Brady and they can't stand him, and when they banged on Derek Jeter, they can't stand him. They can't stand him. It's okay. But with LeBron James, you're haters. You are. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But, but with, why? But, but, because How you hate great. Wait a minute. I... And that's what I've been saying. You critique LeBron James on his basketball, you're 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 a hater. You know, you're a hater. You can't speak nothing about about him because you know he's he's a philanthropist. You know, he's a he's a husband. He's a he's a father. You know, great family man. You know, does for his community. Does all the right things. Speaks out on politics. But when you say LeBron is not the greatest of all the time, you're a goddamn hater. You know nothing about basketball. You know nothing about this man, LeBron James. Oh, but you do? Please enlighten me. Educate me. What, 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 what is it about LeBron James that I don't know that I haven't already seen in LeBron's basketball career? Because I've followed LeBron James since high school. And I can tell you that as successful as LeBron has been, he's failed a lot of times. And in large part, it's due to him when he could have been, he could have won even more, you know, and really put himself up there greatness he, he causes chaos wherever he goes he put Ty. i mean reminding me about the Ty Lue thing it just been it's so crazy how they didn't even focus on Ty Lue and they skipped it out around um in terms of many circles about lebron see they went circle by circle all over about lebron see they didn't even really focus on Ty Lue. Ty Lue's not the coach of this team man we already know why lebron wants him so so Ty Lue's going to get another headache so that LeBron can be in control. We've never had a credible coach. Watch Nick, watch Nick LeSquidward wrong. Come on TV and say the same thing. Yes, he fired David Black. Well, He's done so well, Ty, much. Ty Lue was not taking his medicine. He was eating too much pork. Mm. What? Making up shit. See what I'm saying? Yeah. How do you know what he was Heart. eating, man? Heart. Yeah, listen, man. <laughs> listen. It's been a mess, and unfortunately, it's going to be... He didn't fire David Black. I, yes, he did. In the darkness of night. He did. Like an episode. He did. Like a, like People a... need to stop with that nonsense. LeBron James did get David Black fired. That was the organization conceding to LeBron. LeBron's camp won in Ty Lue when originally they wanted Mark Jackson to coach the Lakers. I mean, not the Lakers, sorry, the Cavaliers, but they ended up getting Ty Lue as a compensation, so they compromised with Ty Lue. They got to do whatever he wanted, and Ty Lue got health problems because of LeBron. Please, stop. He got David Black fired. Having the best record in the Eastern Conference, helping LeBron take them to the finals with that very good Cavaliers team that they got in the trade. But, you know, they're not going to talk about that or that they were 30-11 and 11 and then he gets fired for Ty Lue. Bad episode of television. And then you're like, I just work here. Yes, I just work here. I'm an I'm employee. Just a guy. I'm, I'm an employee. Yeah, listen, man. I don't, I'm not responsible for who comes or goes. I predicted mm. those guys to be in the Western mm. Conference finals, and it went awry, and now it's just going to continue Getting At least he admitted sorry. it. Sorry, you are your way. You okay. are your off. No, okay. Shannon Sharp. Oh, now he's a year off, but you were saying the same exact thing, Shannon. Exposed again. Yes. Brian Windhorst. <laughs> Fifty-four wins. Today. LeBron James has mastered the art of influencing decisions without taking ownership of them. Look at that. Even the Hamburglar, Brian Fat Windhorst, even that Mr. LeBron is about ma a master at manipulating control of the media. Aha, uh -huh. David Blatt. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, been quiet. Yo, look at his face. <laughs> Yo, I remember the three six mafia exposes LeBron. Look at shit. <laughs> uh, don't don't blame me. Hold on, Skip. Don't blame me. Uh, uh, don't do that, Skip. Oh, hold on, hold on. Here's the thing, Skip. Remember, Tom Brady got Jimmy Jimmy Garoppolo. He didn't say 
Look how he deflects it and goes to Tom Brady, see? On his show. He likes to, he likes to speak out, and I Ooh. love that about LeBron James. What show? On the, on the, on the... He loves to speak out because of the platform with by Nike. Let's cut it out, man. And his little corporate sponsors. His show. Oh, what, oh, listen, hey, listen. Yeah, what, say, on his I, show, I too. Right before LeBron's too smart for that. You know he's not going to admit that, man. It's about controlling narratives, man. All of a sudden, now we got other subjects to talk about. Shannon Expos again. Himself on the back, but not when it's the What's bad things. Uh, huh? What's wrong with his hands? Is that, what are you talking I about? I don't need anybody to pat me on he my back. He pats like himself on the back he when should, it's doing good things. Because get. people like you. Rappaport speaking fast. Look how triggered and angry he got Shannon now. Don't pat him on the back when it's in order. But that's why I'm here to keep. I'm regulating things. You ain't regulating nothing. I'm regulating things. No. You, so play also, you, you is Kip. You is Kip. You is Kip. Y'all haters. What are you about? <laughs> the game's Yo, Shannon speaking for the casuals, man. <laughs> started last year, they went twenty-eight and twenty-seven. How many? How can you defend that? How that's, many? That's the bottom line. How many line. of them was he twenty-eight healthy? and twenty-seven? He was oh, fine. Healthy. Oh, healthy. Oh, healthy. Oh, healthy. 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 <laughs> I'm definitely going to watch that again. But, yo, this was another one. Let me know what you guys think of that segment, man. You know, should Ty Lue be the next head coach of the Lakers, man? <laughs> and as always, man, bless up. One love. Peace. Thanks for watching.